In this video, we'll be reviewing what is meant by the term perfect square and the term perfect cube. When we say things like perfect square and perfect cube, we're referring to numbers that are the result of raising a whole number base or integer base to a very specific exponent. So for perfect squares, if I have some whole number base a, where a would be an integer, and I square that, that would result in what I call a perfect square number. And recall that squaring is another way to write repeated multiplication of a base times itself. So when I look at numbers like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on, I can get 1 by saying 1 times 1, so 1 squared. And I can get 9 by saying 3 times 3, so 3 squared. And 5 by saying 5 times 5, so 5 squared. 7 squared for 49, 9 squared for 81, and so on. That list would conclude here with 10 squared for 100. But we could do that for 11, 12, 13, 14, and keep obtaining perfect square numbers. When I refer to the term perfect cube, I also am referring to a particular exponent put on a base. And that base, once again, would be an integer. And the exponent I'm referring to would be an exponent of 3, which would refer to multiplying that base by itself three times. So a times a times a. So again, 1 can be written that way as 1 times 1 times 1, or 1 cubed. 27 could be written as 3 times 3 times 3, or 3 cubed. 125 is 5 cubed. 216 is 6 cubed, 512 is 8 cubed, and finally to conclude that list, we'd have 10 cubed would be 1,000. And again, we could continue to obtain numbers in this list by choosing bases and raising them to the exponent 3.